We're here in Tucson, Arizona, where last night we had the Brian Terry Foundation benefit dinner in memory of fallen Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. Ralph Terry is the president of the foundation, and welcome to Texas GOP Vote. Well, thank you very much. Good to be with you. I'd like to inform our readers a little bit about the foundation. You know, we've all heard the story about what happened with Brian and, and where that led into the, the Fast and Furious uh, scandal. But out of that has come a really great thing that you, you and the family are putting together with the foundation. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the family decided that we wanted to create a living legacy to Brian and to keep his name alive for evermore. And so we created the Brian Terry Foundation, and we have a number of goals in that foundation. Uh, the first one, and perhaps the most fun one, for me at least, is giving away scholarships to kids that want to go into college into criminal justice or law enforcement. Mm -hmm. uh, we gave four scholarships away this year, and we're looking to do more next year. Uh, another thing we do that isn't very much fun is uh, we help support the families of fallen agents, Border mm -hmm. Patrol agents that are killed in the line of duty. And unfortunately, we had to do that last year. Uh, that was not a fun thing. Uh, another thing that we're, we're actively pursuing right now is we're creating a memorial uh, a statue, bigger than life statue actually, mm -hmm. out of bronze, that will be placed in front of the Border Patrol Station in Bisbee, Arizona. And the Border Patrol Station's name is the Brian A. Terry Border Patrol Station, named mm -hmm. after Brian. And we want to keep awareness of what the Border Patrol is doing uh, in the public eye and, and let the public be aware of the sacrifices and the heroes that are out there in the Border Patrol. You know, the Border Patrol agents are doing a very, very outstanding job and, and they're People don't realize the danger that they're in, and and the risk that they're they're putting themselves in every single day when they're out there. You know, we see them at checkpoints and border crossing places, and everything's pretty safe there. Yes, but <laughs> but, but it really is a high risk job. Last night you had the the foundation dinner, and over 200 people gathered to honor the uh, the Brian Terry Courage Award recipients. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, this year the the uh, the theme was the Courage Awards, uh, and we gave away five Courage Awards. Uh, one of the awards went to uh, one of the Bortec, uh, this isn't going to work, but you're going to have to edit it, but the Bortec Rip Star Group mm -hmm. that goes out and actually identifies targeted areas so that the Border Patrol Bortec team can go in afterwards and be more effective in their duties. Mm -hmm. um, and there were uh, 11 members of that team. Uh, we had four of them here to accept the, the award, which was pretty cool. That was nice. We had uh, uh, Congresswoman Gifford. Mm -hmm. uh, she was here and accepted, uh, in fact, the very first Courage Award that we ever gave out. That was really special uh, mm -hmm. because she has been courageous through this whole process. Her recovery has been remarkable, and, and she was injured about a month later after Brian was killed. So yes. Her, her yes. recovery has really been a, a remarkable story. She. Uh, since I'm from Houston, we followed her very closely because she uh -huh. came to Houston for her rehab. Yes, she did. And uh, Sue Krantz, the widow of the rancher down on the border who was killed, was also one of your honorees. Yes. And tell us a little bit about her award. Sue, uh, what a what a, an amazing woman she is. Uh, we have a 45,000 acre ranch mm -hmm. here in Arizona. Uh, she and her family run the ranch. Uh, and her husband was out by himself doing what ranchers do. Uh, and he was murdered there. Mm -hmm. uh, they've not caught his murderer. Uh, so uh, the family is grieving now for the loss of a husband and dad. Mm -hmm. And then Sue is hit by a drunk driver. Six months after. Uh, six the, months afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and so she's had a, a long recovery and she's doing really well though. Mm -hmm. uh, so she was here and accepted uh, an award from us. And that was, that was fun because she was really a nice lady. And the award that you gave out for the Border Patrol Agent of the Year, um, Tell us about him and his story from, from Afghanistan. Eric Groh, he, uh, he was in Afghanistan helping uh, the folks over there uh, learn what the Border Patrol does here to help keep their borders more safe. Uh, and he was in a ba at a base, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he started hearing gunfire. And usually when I hear gunfire, I go the other way, <laughs> as I'm sure you do too. Absolutely. But uh, Eric decided, no. So he ran towards the gunfire. He identified uh, the person that was shooting people. He'd already killed two people, mm -hmm. uh, and he actually uh, shot him and killed him, mm -hmm. uh, saving God knows how many lives. 
Uh, so we decided that would be a great courage award. And all these awards uh, are nominated, all the Border Patrol area awards are nominated by the Border Patrol. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had several uh, that were nominated and it was tough to pick. So. That, that must be a difficult process because there are so many brave men and women and exceptional stories and this was truly an exceptional story. Uh, not only did he stop the shooter, keep him from killing more people, but he jumped in and, and applied help medical yes. assistance to, to save lives yes. as well as stopping the killing of future lives. The family out here, this is the first time I've gotten to meet you, the uncle of, of Brian Terry mm -hmm. and his brothers and sisters and his mother. and. Y'all are just a remarkable family. You've been through a lot and you have a right to be very angry about some of the things that have happened since Brian's death. But I, I see this sense of peace among the family members. There's this calmness of knowing that someday you will get the truth. And, sure. You know, I, I really admire what, I, what I've seen in you and the stories that I've heard about Brian. I feel like I've gotten to know him <laughs> a little bit now as, as a person. Yes. And uh, it's truly been an amazing experience. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell our readers at Texas GOP Vote about the foundation now and where it's headed and what they can do to help you? Sure. They could go to uh, www.honorbryanterry.com. It tells his whole story. It, there's news clippings there so they can learn historical data and then keep up to speed on what's going on relative to the foundation. Um, we do have a special little drive going on now for the uh, the statue that will go down mm -hmm. to the, uh, the Arizona, the Border Patrol station in Bisbee mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just join us jump on the train and have mm -hmm. fun with us you know this statue thing is just an amazing story in and of itself and I'm, I'm probably get one of the other family members to to tell us that story uh -huh. but uh, what Brian went through as the oldest person to ever go through the BORTAC training and to graduate at the top of his class yeah. is, is an amazing story in and of itself yes Ralph thank you very much for talking to us here at Texas GOP vote and we look forward to next year's foundation dinner when we're going to dedicate that statue and Absolutely. Uh, maybe we can do some things in Texas to help Excellent. you as well. We look forward to that. All right. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.